Okay guys, welcome to the garage where I started this project last night. Mary's got some pictures of birds. We are going to try to do like this photo transfer onto wood. I think Mary knows how to do it. But first, I put these boards together the size that we wanted last night and now I'm gonna sand them down. These are sanded. I broke a piece, like the end of this board broke off while I was sanding it, so I just uh, glued that back on. So we'll let those, uh, or let that one dry, and then we'll resume this project later. But a uh, board flew back and hit me in the knee, and I'm bleeding. Crazy. A few days ago, I had this idea. I don't know where this idea came from, but I decided I needed some bird photography in my house. So I asked my friend who's a bird photographer, she's a photographer, and she takes a lot of gorgeous photos of birds. I was like, how would you feel about your art becoming a project in my house? And she was like, sure. So she sent me four bird photos and she gave them to me in both directions so that whichever way it worked out, then I had both options. So these are the four photos. These are not the directions I'm using. It's gonna be like that, whatever, you'll see. Anyway, I ordered for curbside pickup these laser prints. So it's laser printing because there's this project I've seen on Pinterest where you can transfer laser printed photo to wood. Ugh, I hope it works. These are just pieces of wood that we do you guys remember in Massachusetts, there was this packing place that had free wood outside? We, we went and picked up all these short boards there. So last night, Peter made them all the same length and glued them together and sanded them. So now we can use some polyurethane, put the prints down. Oh, let's see how it works. Thankfully, these prints only cost about 40 cents if I remember correctly. It was like about $3 for eight prints. So if it doesn't work, if it really fails miserably, we can sand it off and start over. But I think it's gonna work. One more piece? Yes, please. Oh, I didn't know it was brisket. Amazing. <laughs> A few of the examples I saw on Pinterest, when it transfers, so basically it's just the ink that transfers. Once it all dries, um, you wipe the paper part off and just the ink stays. So some of the examples I saw, it transfers kind of like vintage-y, like AKA not perfectly, and that's what I'm hoping for. But even if it transfers perfectly, like it will look like this, and then that will look cool. So. I'm not even sure where we're putting these up yet, but if, wherever we put them, I'm just so excited. The only other time I've done something like this was when I made that map canvas and we did the photo canvases. Yep. But that wasn't like the ink transferring. It Correct. was just mod podging them onto something. Right. Which, if this doesn't end up working, I think just mod podging them onto canvases will also look good. Yeah. Oh, I do need some like credit card or something. Okay, I got it. For um, smoothing it out. Okay. Okay, do you think that's good? Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Here we go. Now, once I put it down, it's not coming back up. So can you help me? Yeah, just have all of this out to be perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Oh my gosh. Nice. Okay, that's probably good. Oh, wrong 
wrong side. Okay. Okay. Maybe paper towel to wipe it off? Yeah, maybe card first and then paper towel. I don't know. Card? Yeah, card. Wrong side, wrong side. Yeah, okay. Hopefully it'll be okay. <laughs> It's gonna be fun. Okay, Mary is doing the initial rub off, and now I am vintaging the edges to make it look less like, like, I don't less know. Less like it's a wood frame around a photo, and yes. more like it's a photo on wood. Yeah, so I'm just kind of like rubbing it, using my fingernail to kind of get some of the edging off, so like, here you can still kind of tell there's a hard edge, so I'm gonna work on this a little bit to kind of make it less even. And uh, I think this is so cool. And, and Peter wasn't really... I wasn't seeing the vision yeah. when she told me about this, but it is working out. All right, it's the next day. We are ready to finish these guys. So right now, they look a little bit white and fuzzy, um, but the what I'm seeing on a few different sources is that that's normal for it to look white and fuzzy. And then when, we, when you put the top coat on, it's supposed to look clear. So, and I can tell you that when I had the water on it, it looked clear. So I can imagine that when I have the top coat of sealant on it, <clears throat> it will look clear as well. Some of them are fuzzier than others. So I'm curious if we'll see a difference or if that's okay. Because this is my first time, I don't know how hard to rub. You know what, I'll probably, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of water and rub that a little bit more, get some of that off. I decided to work a little longer on getting some of the fuzziness off just to make sure it really comes out clear. But on this one, some of the image is starting to come off and I'm okay with that because I wanted like a vintage look, especially with the edges, but I don't wanna risk too much coming off. So I'm just gonna call it done for this one. I got the bird really clear, so I'm just gonna be done. I'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes before I put the clear coat on top. Hopefully that'll be okay. Let's look at how this one's working. Oh yeah. 
I think it's gonna work, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. It's working! We'll leave a link to Catherine's video from Do It On A Dime. She did this project as well, and the video was really helpful, so if you guys want to try it out, you can go over and watch her video. Now we let these dry, the poly is on top, and after they're finished drying, I think my final step will be I will sand these edges to get where the ink may have uh, smeared, oh, like when we were vintaging the edges, you can see some of the coloring on the edge. I did a little better job with this one, and I think I'll just do that with the rest of these, but there they are. Are we ready to reveal? Yes. Let's show them. Oh, look at that. That looks cool. There they are, guys. Yeah. So the last step will just be kind of sanding the edges where the pigment kind of transferred, as you can see right there. And they are still drying. Or they're mostly dry. A couple things I learned. You can see some of this fuzzy stuff, even though uh, one of the blog posts I found on Pinterest said it's okay if it's white and fuzzy. I would work a little harder on getting those white bits off. I think what I'm gonna do is add a little more, I don't know, it's dry. I, th I think it's probably, it's just a delicate art to know how far is getting the paper off. And, yeah. And how far, but it, it just like makes it look a little vintage. I don't, yeah, I don't it'll probably bad. be fine. Yeah. Right now, of course, we're like, hyper analyzing them once they're on the wall you look at them they're beautiful look at the birds cool and then you move on you don't think oh what's that white spot so anyway there they are we had so much fun and i hope you enjoyed coming along on this diy project with us and, and as, as always, always we'll see, see you tomorrow, tomorrow. Good, good night night. Don't you think we... good night bones <laughs> good night